welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this video lecture i will guide you for big mistakes in rcc footing construction and also with steel structure design if you are new on this channel so you may like this video and subscribe the channel for more civil engineering updates guys you can see here this is called combined footing because of this is combined footing because two rcc columns are in one footing so this is called combined footing when the spacing between two column is minimum so the combined footing should be provided as you can see here now what are the big mistakes in rcc uh, footing guys you can see first of all remember individual footing let me write here and the visual footing size should not be less than hundred centimeter by hundred centimeter it means one meter by one meter it should not be less than this okay this is very important for you people to know about this point so if you are working on combined footing so normally most of the people they are not keeping the concrete cover in rcc footing suppose when we require one by one footing suppose the size of the footing is this one one meter by one meter so if you have a concrete cover which is about 75 millimeter so keep here 1.0075 meter because concrete cover is also very important guys you can see here this is called concrete cover okay it should not be less than concrete cover or let me write here concrete cover and footing should not be less than 75 millimeter or you can say three inches right this is very important for you people to know about this point now let me guide you for the depth of the footing guys you can see here this is the bed depth and here the footing depth okay so now let me write here depth of the footing should not be less than depth of footing it should not be less than also one meter this is minimum depth of footing which is called one meter here in this case now here if you see guys the steel reinforcement so we already have the steel reinforcement main bars and distribution bars so keep the spacing of main bars and distribution bars especially for two-story residential building or commercial building for both of them the spacing should not be less than six inches okay or you can say 15 centimeter so use minimum 12 millimeter die of steel rod with the spacing of 0 0.15 meter center to center for main bars and distribution bars guys you can see here this one this is very important for main bars and also for distribution bars next guys you can see here for this plan we have the cross section so this is the cross section the bit depth should not be less than 18 inches the bed depth should not be less than 18 inches if you see the steel reinforcement as i discussed before so use 12 millimeter with the spacing of 0 0.15 meter center to center or you can say 15 centimeter okay or 150 millimeter right so if you see guys the steel reinforcement this hook should be provided at the end of this which should not be less than 15 centimeter and the bed depth is 18 inches as i discussed before now we have also the very important point which you know very well about grade of concrete because this is the uh, uh the subgrade of the uh or you can say this is the subgrade of foundation one is a sub base and the other one is subgrade so this is the sub base so sub base mean foundation so use m20 grade concrete for this most of the people they are ma making many uh, uh, mistakes so therefore i'm telling you where for uh, m20 mean 20 newton per mm square this is the characteristic strength of concrete after 28 days after 28 days so let me tell you newton per mm square right so therefore its ratio is here for this the ratio is one ratio 1.5 ratio 3 
one is called cement s s c cement 1.5 is called sand and 3 is called aggregate right so this is for uh, rcc footing now guys here one thing more which is very important for you people so if you see guys the spacing of the footings okay so if the spacing of the footing is less than 1 meter or 100 centimeter so provide combined footing right so combined footing because this is economical compared to the individual footing so because here we have just one meter so therefore the dinging should be uh, provided for both of the footing so therefore i'm telling you combined footing is also very important for you people and it is the same strength uh, it can support this uh, the same load which we have the individual footing but individual is not economical and here the combined footing is economical especially in building construction now guys let me guide you for the be a guys you can see the column so the column steel reinforcement guys you can see this one this is its center and this is a center line guys you can see clearly this one is center line and this one is center line so now let me provide you the steel reinforcement that will be better for you people to know about properly so guys here uh, let me use other pin so here guys you can see these steel bars which we have in a column which is called longitudinal bars the hooks should be provided like this same like this guys you can see the leg should be provided same this one like this and same this one like this now here the question is rising what should be the length of the leg okay this leg length should not be less than 18 inches you can say or normally say 450 millimeter leg is also very important and the leg steel reinforcement should be bind with the help of binding wire especially for these main bars and distribution bars right now here most of the people they are asking about lean concrete before starting the bid in raft foundation or in footing or in individual footing so remember the lean concrete lean concrete you can use 136 not 148 right 136 is best for this okay this is a, a kind of subgrade we are uh, we are providing to protect it from the earth and from the soil because we have many uh, particles there so therefore when we are providing the three inch uh, like a concrete cover this is at the bottom left right bottom as i discussed before 15 centimeter or you can say uh, so sorry this is for the lake so i'm talking about the concrete cover which is 75 millimeter same you can do the three inches thickness like this at the bottom three inch means 75 millimeter from bottom top left and right so it should be provided so guys this is a short video but very important for you people what kind of mistakes the people are doing on construction site so i have already clarified in this video thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.